modern yet modest. That's the motto for fashion designers who are coming up with a new product to appeal to young Muslim women. Now, few images shout Middle East quite like the abaya, the long black overgarment that millions of women across this region wear. Now, the design has stayed pretty much unchanged for centuries, but recently, female designers have been experimenting with color, fabric, embroidery. Stephanie Hancock reports. Dream and Hind are two Emirati sisters on a mission to bring their national dress into the 21st century. They started their own company 18 months ago. What began as a hobby is now a fully-fledged business, and the sisters are aiming big. Their pieces are high-end haute couture, and prices start at more than $1,000. At the beginning, before selling our, our abayas, we, we designed like a couple of abayas to our friends. And we started like giving our friends, and then we thought, we can no more business, giving, we yeah. should make business out of we it. We can make a business out of it. We thought, why can't we take our abayas and make it something really modern that would, would suit the modern girls, that would suit different uh, uh, icon, but still keep that conservative uh, style to it. Because we love wearing it, and, it's, and we, I, I believe it's, it's, it makes you special. This is one of the abayas that I said looks like an abaya, which is a little bit more traditional, but I've also added a bit of um, a Spanish flair to it by putting the ruffles at the bottom and making it loose in the back. And... Badr al Badur is another Emirati designer who's having fun transforming the age-old abaya. Interest in her unusual designs is so high that she's taking her business online. Abaya Couture is definitely for beyond the GCC. I'm very interested in getting the entire world's attention if possible because the whole point of doing this online is spreading the word on the Abaya and showing people that it is a fashionable piece that we wear. It is not a tent that covers us all. We can still look pretty and elegant and sexy and everything that we need to, just as covered and as traditional as we need to be. Women in the Middle East have long tried to personalize their abayas, but it's only recently become culturally acceptable to do so. Indeed, in some countries like Saudi, it's still taboo. Analysts also say that the region's recent economic growth means women now have bigger disposable incomes to spend on finishing touches like embroidery, beading, or even real diamonds. As long as they have more money, they have more spending power, uh, they would really look for the designs that are completely different from the uh, abayas that the other people are carrying. And now these women have the power to do that, they have the money to do that. And this is why the uh, change in the trend of the abayas has accelerated in the last five to six years. Young women here in the Gulf are notoriously fashion conscious and are willing to spend big money in shops like this one on a buyers that make them stand out in the crowd. But it's not just a buyers which are being revamped. Designers are now also taking Western style clothes and giving them a Muslim makeover. I absolutely love color, though I love black too, but color is definitely my thing and I love floral prints. And here's a, a great example of, uh, of both of them. Rabia Z began designing clothes when she realized that fashion options for Muslim women were woefully inadequate. Her range of Western-style casual wear is popular with both Muslims and non-Muslims, and she's tapped into a vast market. It was overwhelmingly shocking that no one is doing this. You know, no one, it was almost sad that no one, you know, cares about women like us. So, so that's when I took it on more seriously. I mean, the, the potential for further growth is indeed massive. It's, it's huge, still untapped. It's a niche market, uh, and the potential is just enormous. Designers are finally realizing that Muslim women want better fashion, and if they want to exploit this market, the catchphrase will be modern yet modest.